This month on Inside COD, find out what's happening this summer at the Mackinac Arts Center. We get creative with some of COD's talented adult art students. It's time to race into summer with signing up for COD's Food Truck Rally and Sunset 5K. Plus, we have another great giveaway for one of our lucky viewers. All that and much more coming up right now. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Inside COD. I'm George Brew. And I'm Anna Sig. Are you looking for some outside entertainment this summer? Then the Mackinac Art Center here at COD has you covered. Joining us at the roundtable is Diana Martinez, director of the MAC. Welcome, Diana. Thank you. Yeah. What can you tell us about the upcoming summer entertainment? Well, we have quite a, a, a season lined up. We have a movie series, we have a jazz series, and then we have our concert series. Um, so we kick it off with a movie series with Into the Spider-Verse, and then we follow it up with Coco in honor of Frida Kahlo coming next year. And then our concert series um, starts on July 12th. And we have The Ides of March starring Jim Petterick, and you um, might not know him, he's an old 70s, 80s star, and uh, he's got a big following. He did Eye of the Tiger. Um, and then July, um, sorry, Yes, July 19th is the New Philharmonic Orchestra, and they do a big Pops concert uh, with movie themes and marches and, and favorite symphony songs. And then Brass Transit, which is a Chicago tribute band who are phenomenal, are coming on July 26th. And then on August 7, uh, 2nd is The Greatest Piano Men, and they do, they are three piano players, and they play everything from Beethoven to Billy Joel, Elton John, Stevie Wonder, you name it. It's an incredible concert that's uh, right now playing in Las Vegas. And then we close it with the Magic of Motown, and it's Magic of Motown's anniversary. So we thought it was really appropriate to uh, close it, and it's a phenomenal show um, that's like a tribute to all the Motown hits. Then we have um, the WDCB Jazz Series, and that's on Thursday nights, and that starts on July 25th. And we have three concerts. WDCB helps curate that. Um, so their station manager picks some of the best um, Chicago jazz bands to come out and play. Um, Angel Mendez and the 911 Mambo Orchestra is going to do a Latin tribute, kind of a, a nod to Frida Kahlo as well. And then August 1st is Chicago Plays the Stones. And if you know who the Rolling Stones are, um, it's Chicago blues art and jazz artists playing Rolling Stones music. And then on August 8th is Joey DeFranco Trio. So that's a huge, um, a huge smorgasbord of shows. Yeah, it sounds like you have a lot of events planned for the whole summer, yes. so it sounds like a full packed summer of events. Uh, this summer, Lakeside Pavilion continues to grow in popularity. You actually had the most attendance last year. Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about that for us and what makes Lake, uh, Lakeside events so special? Uh, I think what makes it so special is the price. It's free. Right? Yeah. So you can't go wrong with free. I think the other thing is is the location is so beautiful. It's a beautiful lawn. The food vendors we have are really um, exceptional. We have Parker's Restaurant and Bar. They do um, seafood is what they're known for. It's a high-end restaurant. We have Weber Grill that's known for their steaks and burgers. Um, so the food is really, really good. You can buy a cocktail there. You can have a beer or wine if you're, if you're of age. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have great food vendors. It's free. It's a beautiful location with the lake and the fountain going in the show. And it's um, not typical festival entertainment. These, these bands that perform are really shows, right? So because we're the Mac, I always want something with a sense of theatricality to it, not just some guys singing in a t-shirt, doing covers, not playing, paying to the audience, right? Mm -hmm. So this is all played to the audience. They're all very much productions. They're really high level. These are national touring artists. They're not just like local cover bands. Okay. So we call it like Ravinia West. It's like the best kept secret. You can come see a show outside. You can bring your picnic if you want. You can't bring alcohol with you. You can get it there. Um, but it's a really lovely way to spend an evening. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Um, this September kicks off the Frito Kahlo uh, events. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the type of events planned for that then? Well, we're having a big Frida Kahlo Fest outside okay. on September 8th. So that's really like the last uh, lakeside show. And that kicks off 
the year of anticipation and building up to the exhibition coming here in 2020. So we have 26 original Frida Kahlo artworks coming to the college, which is sort of unheard of. This um, exhibition has gone to Milan, Budapest, and now it's coming to Glen Ellen. So oh, wow. it usually gets um, shown in big, huge museums. Uh, we have a local donor, uh, Alan Peterson, who helped us to get this here because he wanted to put the College of DuPage on the map. He wanted something exceptional uh, for the college that, that kind of left a legacy. And for us to get this collection, she only has like 150 pieces of original art in the world. Mm -hmm. We're getting 26. So we'll have hundreds of thousands of people coming to see oh, this wow. exhibition. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, Diana, for joining us today and telling us about the Mac's upcoming events. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. And remember, for tickets and showtimes, visit at themac.org or call 630-942-4000. Coming up, we talk to some of CUD's adult art students. And later, we have a great giveaway for this month. But first, here's a look at your CUD calendar of events. Buffalo Theater Ensemble will present Miracle on South Division Street, a heartfelt and hilarious play that reveals the truth about a neighborhood shrine that is thought to bring hope and faith. Performances are from May 2nd to June 2nd, Thursdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m and Sundays at 3 p.m. in the Playhouse Theater. Tickets are $40. For tickets and information, visit atthemac.org. And on Friday, May 17th, the class of 2019 concludes their academic studies with a commencement ceremony. The ceremony begins at 7 p.m. in the PE Arena. Calling all royal fans, COD Lifelong Learning will be hosting a lunch break lecture on Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Come on out and learn all about the royal family matriarch. The lecture will be held on Wednesday, May 15th from noon to 1 p.m. in SRC 1127 and is free and open to the public. We got creative with some of CUD's art students that can't get enough. For me, what, what's funny is people think about retirement as finishing jobs and I will be finishing my teaching job. But actually, I always have seen myself number, my first job is being an artist. And so for me, it just allows me to not have two jobs, but just have one job. She never teaches the class the same way. And so that's why we keep coming back. And there's a core of us, of seniors, that um, come back to learn more and to uh, fraternize, if you will. And in the summer times, a lot of us get together when even there isn't school. I love the fact that she is very willing and meets students as to what they need. So that's very important, I think, in a teacher, that they can recognize what a student needs. I think what I have loved most about teaching is that it has brought out my creativity on how to explain something. Try to do that with every single student I had. I have felt privileged to work on so many students' paintings and with them. I have been always excited about how do I explain this in a way that this particular person will feel confident and feel empowered by my explanation. Coming up, it's time to dine and dash. The College of DuPage will be hosting its ninth annual food truck rally and Sunset 5K this October. We will show you how to lace up for this race. But first, here's a look at your community calendar of events. Don't want to make the trip out to the Taste of Chicago? Then check out Taste of Glen Ellen. This family-friendly event will feature great food, live entertainment, and fun carnival rides. The Taste begins Thursday, May 16th, and will run until Sunday, May 19th. Admission is free. For more information, visit GlenEllenChamber.com. Be inspired by over 40 spectacular life-size animal sculptures made from millions of Lego bricks. Brookfield Zoo will be hosting Brick Safari from May 11th to September 29th. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for kids. For more information, visit CZS.org. The Morton Arboretum will have Arboretum Yoga from 6 to 7 p.m. on Mondays. One session is $18 or $80 for the whole month. Visit www.mortonarb.org for more information. May kicks off registration for CUD Sunset 5K. 
The food truck rally in Sunset 5K is returning to the College of DuPage for its ninth annual run. The event is presented by the DuPage Medical Group and the proceeds will go to scholarships for high school students in the 15 high school districts the college serves. The event is in October and the first 500 participants can register for $15. But you don't have to wait till October. Come to the Cheesy Teaser for a taste of what's to come. On May 14th, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we will have a cheesy teaser. We will have toasty cheese on campus along with Cupcakes for Courage, just at the north entrance of SRC. From 11.30 to 1, we'll have the two food trucks. Um, no need to register for the race to uh, participate in the food trucks that day, but, you know, get your $15 registration going now so that you don't miss out on it later. For more information about the food truck rally in Sunset 5K, contact Amy Chambers at 630-942-3823. Anna is in the newsroom with a very nice giveaway for this month. Yes, George, COD Cares was generous enough to donate for this month's giveaway. Before showing the prize that one lucky viewer will receive, let's go over the rules. It's pretty simple. Go to our Facebook page, Courier TV, and like the May edition of Inside COD in our feed. Remember, it's the May edition, and you have until May 16th at noon to like the episode. This month, COD Cares has donated two food truck rally tickets for a lucky viewer. Remember to visit our Facebook page at Courier TV, like the May edition of Inside COD in our feed for a chance to win two tickets to the food truck rally. Thanks again for joining us on this month's edition of Inside COD. For George Brew, I'm Anna Sig. We'll see you back here in October.